Good morning, Eisenhower Eagles. Today is Thursday, October 27th. It is cycle day 10. So you have library today. All right, let's go ahead and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, boys and girls, you may be seated. All right, today for lunch is one of my favorite. The walking beef taco. Walking beef taco. Or your B option is the Italian deli sub. Your C option is the bagel kidsable. Your sides are black beans and pineapple. Everybody's favorite, pineapple. Tomorrow is fun on the run corn dog with your sides of baby carrots and a frozen fruit tree. All right. Um, special announcements. We're going to start out. 27th, we have zero birthdays today. Zero birthdays. And today is Thursday, tie-dye day for Red Ribbon Week. So we have our special fifth grade visitors here. Hi, I'm back. To talk to you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to let them take it from here. Oh, go ahead. Come all the way up. Talk loud. Good character makes a difference. Let your head to the stairs. Don't waste your device. Try your great quality show. Making healthy choices is the best way to go. Please read with me the red rib ribbon pledge that is on the back of the book. I pledge to be drug, alcohol, and tobacco, and tobacco free and lead a healthy and positive lifestyle. I pledge to tell others about the dangers and consequences of drug, alcohol, and tobacco abuse. I value my life and, and the lives of my family and friends. <coughs> Let's see who would have prize today. I'll show you names. Congratulations, special. Okay, well, hold on. Yep, go ahead and let's draw names. So, Em, go ahead and draw. Okay, you got your other name. What? No. Who's the name? Tyler. Um, Ren or Steeler? Tyler. Um, Say it loud, Ren Tyler. Oh, Say it loud, Ren. Ren Tyler. Ren Tyler, come on down for your prize. They got some pretty good prizes down here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, cool. Kellen Bibby. Kellen Bibby, congratulations. Come on down for your prize. Right, yeah. Charlie Hannaborg, come on down for your prize. So, congratulations. So, go ahead and say it with your line. Congratulations. Congratulations, come to the office of uh, Office Inspector Parker. Thanks for wearing your tie-dye today. Don't forget to wear your red clothes tomorrow, as we are ready to live drug-free. Right. All right. Thank you, fifth graders. You did an excellent job. All right. I... Bye, Chloe. Bye, Riley. <laughs> I'm going to let them go. I'll be right back. I'm back. All right. So, boys and girls, it is tie-dye day. And remember, this Red Ribbon Week, I know we're having a lot of fun with it, but the, the main purpose of it is to be drug and alcohol-free um, and tobacco-free as well. Okay? So, there's a lot of lessons to be learned for that. So, um, thank you, everybody, for participating that are participating. Um, let's see here. Uh, special announcements, other special announcements. Tomorrow's our last day. We're red. Um, also, we have our trunk or treat tomorrow. So you are allowed, now listen carefully, you are allowed to bring your costume to school and change into it after specials are done. 
Now, not your specials, all the specials. So when your teacher tells you it's okay to change into your costume, that's when you can change into it. All right. Do not come to school wearing it. If you wear part of it, that's part of your normal dress. That's okay. Like your shoes or maybe the pants. But if you come in a full ninja costume or Teenage Mutant Ninja costume or a Mario Brothers costume with the hat, you will be asked to take it off and wear your normal clothes. If you don't bring your normal clothes, you'll sit up in the office and wait for somebody to bring normal clothes for you to change into. Because you know what? It's fun, but it's also a distraction during the day because we're still learning in the morning. Okay, so bring your costume with you. All right. Now, a couple rules about the costumes. One, no weapons. No weapons. If you bring even a fake weapon, if you bring one, it will be confiscated and sent home when some an adult can come get it. Okay. No weapons. Two, no blood. All right. There is no blood on these costumes. No weapons, no blood. If there are, it will be confiscated until an adult can come up and pick it up. Okay? Pretty simple rules. Have fun with it. Don't be too scary. Remember, there's a lot of kids here. Um, and then teachers, we I will send out directions on how we're going to do the parade. We already talked about it. I'm pretty sure you already know about it, but I'll send out directions how we'll do the parade. And then we'll go out and then you'll do your trunk or treat out back. And this is tomorrow afternoon. Okay, around 2.30-ish, boys and girls, so wait until then. All right, all right, that is it for special analysis. I do need to send a reminder. On the playground, if you're playing football or any other sort of sport, it is not tackle. Keep your hands to yourself, okay? If it's tag, you tag, not push, not tackle, not shove. If we continue seeing it, we're going to stop football and we're going to stop tag out there. Okay. And that will be for both recesses if we have to. So follow the directions. Stay on your feet. Don't tackle anybody. Pretty simple directions to follow boys and girls. I know you can do it. It's easy. Go outside, have fun. There's plenty of space to run, plenty of things to do out there. All right. Okay. All right, boys and girls, I hope everybody has a wonderful day. We will see you in the hallways, classroom, outside, all over the place. Oh, and the lunchroom. Remember, to be an Eisenhower Eagle, you need to work hard. You need to be kind. Then you can soar like an eagle. We will see everybody.